Hello long distance internet friends this is Yuvraj from the Astra team and I welcome you to a brand new episode of your favorite internet show Astra Updates this is episode 3.4 because we've updated Astra to 3.4 version and with it we've introduced some interesting new features and also some interesting performance updates so let's head to my computer and I'll show you everything that's new with Astra 3.4 all right, so I'm inside the customizer of my website and the first feature that I want to talk to you about is a brand new related posts feature. Now earlier, if you wanted to add the related posts functionality on your website, you would have to use a third party plugin. But with Astra 3.4, the feature is now completely native to Astra. Let me show you how it works. I already have a single blog post open on my website and to configure the related post options, I'll go into the blog section single post section and right here you will see enable related posts which is disabled right now and you also don't see any related posts one disclaimer this is an astra free feature that means you will be able to use related posts inside the free version of astra let me enable the related posts option and i'll show you all the different configuration options you have with it as soon as you enable the option, you'll start seeing related posts just like this on your website as well. Let's explore the settings and the different configuration options. The first option is the total number of related posts, which is currently set to two. And you also see two different blog posts right here. You can change the number of blog posts that appear here by just dragging this slider. Let me change it to three, or you can also use your keyboard actually like this. And now you see three different blog posts right here. But what if you want to display all the related posts in a single line or you want to control how many blog posts appear in a single grid layout? Well, that's what the second option is for, which is the grid column layout. Let me change it to three to show you what happens. And now, as you can see, because the grid layout is set to three, you see three related posts in a single line. So this option lets you control the number of related posts that appear on your site. You can set it to a higher number if you like. And this option lets you control how many posts appear in a single grid layout or change the grid layout completely. But what option controls which posts appear in this options or which posts appear as related posts? Well, that's the job of the post query option. Let's open up the settings and I'll show you what happens. So these are the options inside the post query options. The related posts can be fetched by either by categories or by tags. Right now it's set to categories and you'll notice that all the three blog posts that you see right here have the same category. You also have the option of changing the order. That means you can choose uh, the related blog post to appear by date, title, post order, random or comment counts. So it gives you a complete control over what kind of blog posts you want appearing as related posts on your site. You also have the option of changing the order. So example, if you're sorting by date or you're ordering by date, then you can make sure that the most recent posts show up first by changing this order. Let's explore the next few options by closing this icon right here. The next few options are related to the post structure and also the meta. That means what information is displayed here. Now, if you've used Astra before, you will be familiar with these controls because these are the controls that you have inside the blog options or when you're configuring your blog settings. So you can reorder the featured image and title and post meta. That means the currently the featured image is on top and the title and post meta is just below it. But you can actually reorder this if you like. And you can also enable or disable these or toggle the visibility of these options by clicking the eye icon right here. Right now, as so you can see, the order has changed. Let me switch it back because that looks better in my opinion. And you can do the same thing for the meta as well. You have options for comments, categories, authors, publish date, and tag. Publish date and tag is disabled by default. That the visibility is turned off. And you can change or uh, use the same options to configure these meta or toggle their visibility. Let's say, for example, I don't want the comments showing up here. Then what I can do is just click this icon right here. And the comments are now disabled. Or you don't see the number of comments in the related post section. The last option in this section is that you can enable the post excerpt. Excerpt is, as you know already, is a short description of or the short preview of your post. And if you wish, you can enable this option. And you'll also see controls to control the number of words that appear in the excerpt. I'm not going to demo it. You can try it out on your website. With this, uh, we've come to the end of this section, but you also have some design related options. You can control the colors and fonts and everything. Let me show you all the options inside the design section by going into the design tab. And now you'll notice that inside the design tab, you'll see a separate section just for related posts. So let me show you all the options. You can change the color of the uh, section title. That means this color right here, you can change it to something you like. Let me reset it. You can do the same thing for the section background. For example, if you want this uh, section to stand out uh, from the rest of your website, what you can do is 
just choose a color that you like something like this a little light you and now you can see it stands out from your rest of your website let me reset it same thing you can do for the content color section title fonts post title font and meta font let me show you all the options so for the content colors you can change the color of uh, the uh, content for the normal uh, mode and also for the hover option or for the hover state so you have options to change the text color the link color and the meta color and you can do the same thing for the hover uh, state for these so for example if you wanted to change the hover color for the meta let's say a bright red for some reason then you can come right here and i can see that now it's set to red let me reset it once again and coming to the typography options you have section title font and the post title font options and also the meta uh, font options and all the controls in each of these font options are the same so let me show you the options for the section title font first and the rest of the options are very similar so coming to the typography controls, you can see you have the option to change the font family, which is set to inherit. That means it will inherit your current theme settings. You also can change the size and you can also choose between pixels and EM if you like. You can also change the font weight, text transform options and light height options. So the section title font will affect this section. The post title font will affect this section and the meta font will affect this section. And if you go inside the options, you'll find familiar controls for all the typography options. In short, you have complete control over how many posts appear, how they appear, how they're ordered, and which posts are selected in the related post section, and also the complete controls over how it appears, how the entire section appears, that means the colors, the fonts, and everything else, without the use of third-party plugins and in the free version of Astra. That's pretty amazing. That's all you need to know about the brand new related post feature. But as I said, there are multiple features. So we have one more interesting feature in Astra. So let me go inside my admin area and I'll talk about that particular feature. All right, I'm inside the admin area of my website and the brand new feature update that we've done is in the custom layout options inside Astra. Now custom layouts is an already existing feature in Astra Pro. So if you want this to or want to use this feature, you'll need to have the Astra Pro add-on installed and activated on your website. And the brand new update to this feature is also available in the Pro feature, obviously. So I already have it installed on my website. So I'll head into the custom layout options by going into appearance custom layouts which is under Astra options so right now there are no custom layouts on this website so let me add a new one so we're inside the custom layouts option and if you don't know what custom layouts are then we've already done a couple of videos on it I'll just put them on, on the screen right here and also link them down in the description of this video a basic explanation of custom layouts would be that it lets you create a custom layout which can be any kind of banners a kind of any kind of CTA with the help of your favorite page builder, co-editor, or even starter templates, and then add it to any section of your website. And you have a lot of targeting options. For example, you can add it to the header of your site, the footer of your site, to the 404 pages, to using visual hooks or using any kind of hooks that we make available in Astra and also inside pages and post content. So what we've done is added a brand new targeting option inside the custom layout option. Let me select the inside post page layout and I'll show you what the feature is. So if you scroll down below, this is the brand new feature that we've introduced inside custom layouts. Now you have options to select what kind of displays does the custom layout appear on. So it's the responsive display option. You can set it to desktop, tablet, and mobile phone devices. And if you disable any of these, the custom layout will not be available or not be visible to that particular device users on your website, which gives you a greater degree of control over how you want or how you want the custom layout to appear on your website. And the second option, which is more powerful one in my opinion, is the time duration option, which you can see right here. If you enable this option, you'll see a bunch of different options. What these let you do is decide what time the custom layout automatically is enabled on your website and as particular time that you can also configure the custom layout to be disabled on your website. This is a powerful technique that you can use to promote any kind of limited time courses that you do, maybe affiliate offers or even a limited time webinar. If you have it on a website, what you can do is just create a custom layout and then enable the start date or choose a particular date when the custom layout or that particular CTA will start appearing on your website and also choose a time which can, can be the end date for enrolling into the course or some specific offer that you have and the custom layout will automatically be visible on your website. Let me show you how the color picker or sorry, how the date picker appears. Just click right here and you'll have the date picker option. Let me 
pick a date and also a particular time if you like you can just drag the sliders and it will automatically pick a date and time for you right here and for the end time you can do the same thing just click right here and then choose a new date that you like or the time and date when you want the custom layout to be disabled on your website and you'll also see the time zone right here this will be picked up automatically from your wordpress settings just click on this link if you want to change the time zone i'm sure you already have the right time zone on your website but just in case if you want to change it just click this link right here so I hope you understood the importance or the benefit of having both these options on your website, the responsive display options and also the time duration options and how it can help you create beautiful CTAs and have more control over how and when they appear on your website. That's it for this feature. Let me do a quick recap of what we've learned today or the new features inside Astra. The first option or the first update is a brand new related post feature which lets you control what posts appear on your related post sections inside your website with complete controls over how they appear and what posts are selected without the use of any third party plugins and in the free version of Astra. And inside the custom layouts, definitely we have the brand new update to the custom layout options. Now you have the option of selecting the responsive display options. That means which devices get to see the custom layout and also time duration options, which lets you control the time duration for which the custom layout will be appearing on your website. With these brand new updates, Astra is now better than ever. But that's not all. If you are building a brand new website or if you're an agency or a freelancer building websites for clients, you'll be happy to know that we've also improved the performance of Astra even further. We've reduced the initial loading time, reduced the size of CSS and HTML files, and also reduced the number of server requests that are sent with Astra. We hope that your clients will be happier with these brand new features and your clients visitors will be delighted with the performance improvements. To take advantage of all these new features, make sure to update Astra to the latest version today. And if you have any feedback, make sure to leave it in the comments of this video or open a support ticket if you need help from the professional support staff. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel for regular updates just like this one. You were listening to Yuvraj from Brainstorm Force. I'll catch you in the next video really soon. Till then, take care and have a great day.